Hello, everyone, and welcome to another week, another live stream. We have the one, the only CJ Cardano Jur here with us on the live stream tonight. CJ, welcome. What up? It's great to have you here. As uh, as people are joining in, welcome. Welcome to another Thursday evening where we talk about the top 10 CNFTs from the week. Just go through the list. Uh, Augie Drums, welcome in. It's actually really funny right now because at least on my end, Open CNFT is down, which is like my lifeline for these live streams. But we have some other uh, websites we can use. But that was one thing getting prepared for this. It was like, oh no, Open CNFT is down. But we won't have to get into that right now. Tal Crypto, welcome in. Uh, CJ, you are a prominent member of the NFT Cardano NFT community. Um, I'd love to hear just how you got into crypto, getting into Cardano, just kind of the backstory of, uh, you know, you're here now. Yeah, sure. Well, uh, thank you for having me. I'll give you the short version uh, yeah. because I don't want to make your ears bleed. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was, I think I was like, I was like five or six years ago and my, my family would always go to dinner at a certain restaurant. And this waiter, who is now my amazing friend now, his name is Shiruki. He uh, he would just talk our ears off about Bitcoin. Like that's it. He just wouldn't stop telling us to uh, buy it. And then eventually about a year later, it was like 2017, August, he called me and literally forced me to buy Bitcoin. He taught me how to send it over to Bittrex. He taught me how to trade it for an altcoin. So my, the first coin I bought was NEO. I don't even know okay. if it's around anymore. But uh, it was doing decent, like semi-recently. But um, yeah, that's how I got into crypto. And then uh, and then at the, the peak of 17, I found out about Cardano. Yeah. And then 2018, uh, we were all in denial, saying that it would, <laughs> it would come back, it would come yeah. back, it would come back. Um, and, and I knew, I always knew it would come back, but I definitely didn't think it would take four years until I really dove into uh, cycle theory and all that, all the market psychology. And I learned a ton. Mm -hmm. And then in 2018 summer, that's when I was like, all right, it feels like stuff is at rock bottom. Cardano was at 16 cents. Yeah. And uh, that's when I started just accumulating. I just accumulated for three, four years up until I stopped buying Cardano about a year ago or like january of 22. okay nice what um i mean i guess there's there's plenty of answers for this and if the people that are watching are obviously in cardano as well but what like when you discovered cardano what was the thing that that got you uh that same guy was really passionate about it so first of all i i uh trusted his instinct you know sometimes you got to bet on the player mm -hmm. um, of course and so, you know, he would just feed me these videos and these videos and Charles and Charles and Charles. And, and I, I just kept buying. I, I just had, I had faith something, something just clicked with me, but, um, uh, you know, that was four or five years ago. I was obviously younger at the time, just like everyone was four or five years ago, but me, I was a lot younger and I had a lot going on in my head and a lot going on in my life. So I was, I just wasn't very present to mm. like oh this is a good crypto or i haven't had enough experience to be like oh this is a good crypto but i could tell i was like this project is real and they're gonna be around yeah right and then about 2020 uh maybe like late 2019 uh i was able to spend some time and 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 understand charles and i learned more about myself growing up obviously and about uh, passion and conviction and and the want to make the world better as opposed to just try to make money. And I felt that from Charles instantly. And I just never understood how Cardano was as cheap as it was. Mm. I really don't get it. And today it's it's at a point, it feels like it's, I don't know, at 80 cents, it kind of feels this, because at two cents, there was it was all an idea, right? But now we're at right. 80 cents and we have, a, I mean, as soon as Hydra comes, a full-blown ecosystem that is just the best yeah, in my correct opinion, ecosystem. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, others others have um, have their niches too, where they they probably do better in Cardano and certain areas. But uh, I I just it just clicked for me at that point in like 2019. Yeah. So fast forwarding to 
you know, the merry hard fork when native multi assets came to Cardano, the basically allowing NFTs to be possible. What mm -hmm. were you thinking and experiencing during that time? Was somebody, was there a different person that was like, hey, NFTs, you got to get in here? So that was the merry hard fork was March 2021. Yes, March 1st, 21. Yeah. So uh, the only person I really heard about NFTs uh, about from was uh, Cardano Dan. Yep. Just here and there, he would do surveys or little things. He's like, do you own an NFT? Yes or no? And I was just like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. I just, you know, I have my my millions of ADA. And I was just like, all right, I don't, I'm just staking. I don't care. Yeah. Um, and then the wave hit in September where Space Buds like 20x, 10x, I don't know. And it caught my attention. And at that point, I stopped right there because... Uh, a buddy of mine told me he was minting space buds in March. He's yeah. like, Hey, I'm going to do it just to like support this guy. He's like, I don't even, I guess they're little space dudes. And like, I don't know, but I'm just, they're 58 of each. And I responded to him and I made a joke saying 58 of each, I can monopolize them. And it would only be like 10% of my portfolio. <laughs> I made a joke. That's ridiculous. Oh and, my gosh. Uh, and I didn't do that, <laughs> but it would have been pretty cool if I did. And it would have yeah. been quite, quite the move. Obviously that- I mean, who would, nobody, yeah. Well, and that like logistically would never work if I owned all of them, then yeah, there would yeah. be no market. Then there would be no value, but yeah. Everyone gets what I'm saying. Um, yeah, so I never minted a space, but I was actually snowboarding at the time and it was just for a few days that they were minting or something. I don't know. And I just, I never got around to it. I had all my stuff on a, on a computer and I didn't even understand that you could have it at two places at once. Like I'm yep. telling you up until NFTs, I was not involved in the ecosystem or really cared or understood what was going yep. on. I just knew Cardano would win. Yeah. You were just and filling your last, stack. Yeah. And then last September, that's when I was like, all right, now I'm using Cardano every day. Now I'm buying NFTs, understanding, learning, smart contract this, smart contract that. Yep. Yeah, I I basically had a dataless wallet because I started in January of 21. So a lot, a lot later than you did. But my my number of transactions was pretty limited until <laughs> until I started just getting into uh, NFTs yeah. and then the transactions just start, you know, going crazy. But um no, that's really good, really good backstory. So what was that? So at September, you just started accumulating stuff that you that you liked. That's interesting because yeah. I, I thought you might have been like early to NFTs, but you were actually late. But you were like, screw it, like I I'm I'm ready to go. I I actually uh, episode seven of the Space Bud series is coming out tonight, and it's called Story Time. And so oh, that's perfect. Like a very brief amount. It's not it's not that long of a video, but I talk a little bit about it. And, uh, and yeah, I, I started buying in, in the discord and I, I was like bidding on auctions and, you know, I came in a lot of people that were in space buds were used to seeing like prices of a few hundred to each. So when they saw these discord auctions, it didn't seem like any OG members were really participating. So it was really easy for me to win a lot of auctions. Yep. I won a lot of those. Um, and I didn't really need to. I could have, what I wish I would have done, I, I bought a lot just off of like, I like that, I'm grabbing it. I like that, I'm grabbing it. Or yep. I feel like this is, it was a, a dopamine addiction for sure too. Yeah. And uh, and what I wish I would have done, obviously hindsight is twenty twenty, but what I wish I would have done is just sat back and like done more research. But I don't know, I, I could go on forever about this, but at the end of the day, the yep. only way- yeah, That's why we're here. <laughs> The only day to really learn is to, the only way to really learn is to get your feet wet. Yeah, and exactly. Mistakes. And so I, that's also, that's why I'm doing this YouTube channel too, is to kind of uh, try and help people be a step ahead that I was, what I have at least some kind of steps ahead, uh, differentiating from the way that I started in so green, but because I was able to get my hands so dirty, I'm able to share a lot of my experiences. And, yeah, hundred percent. And and for anybody that's listening, um, either live or recording or on the podcast, like we, I, I hope that I don't at least. I hope that I don't posture myself in a way that's like I'm always making the right decision. And I know sometimes when you see on Twitter, you're like, someone takes a screenshot of like fifty. Oh, NFTs. let me break the ice, bro. I have a hundred gingerbreads and hundred fifty coca locos. Yeah. 
So <laughs> the like you you have to it's that trial and error. I mean, yeah. everything's so new. You you're you're taking a you're taking a gut check on on a mint. You're 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 assuming a lot of stuff about a, a founder or the team. Um, I mean, we've had some rugs, you know, this last week. Um, you know, it just it happens. So if you if you're down and you're like, man, I just that was a stupid mint. Like we've all been there. So just yeah, that's crazy. Um, yeah, I have just a question. A, How can I? Uh, where's the link for this so I can share it on my Twitter? Yeah, um, I just I just tweeted it out right when um, right when we went live. Uh, right, so cool. if you go to my profile, but I could uh, I could link it for you as well. Um, Here, I have a draft ready, so I'm just gonna tweet it. I send it in your uh, DM too, if you. Okay, cool. Um, but let's just so so if you guys don't know CJ, he has a YouTube channel. It's right at the top of the YouTube description. So just go to the description. If you're not sub to him, uh, definitely do that now. And if he is like, he's got all these awesome videos on Space Buds. I'm as you guys, if you've been in here a lot, a long time, if you've been sub to me for a long time, Space Buds, I'm the most bullish on, um, and I think for good reason. And uh, he also is on Twitter. He does, you, you know, he's on Twitter a lot, so you can follow him on Twitter and all the I other am, places. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm actually really curious how much um, activity on Twitter is just crypto now. I, I, I always hear, oh, I wasn't on Twitter like, and now I'm back. Twitter activity. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it's gotta be a decent percent. That's interesting. Um, Cause there's, I don't know anyone who's on Twitter, um, other than crypto. Right. News, like uh, mainstream news stuff and, and crypto really, I, I feel like are the really big dominant pieces, but we might just be in our own little bubbles. Cause that's all we click on and right. like and stuff, but and the algorithm uh, shooting, shooting that straight at us. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, really quickly, just, just inventory. Um, how many space buds do you have? Uh, or do you, you don't even know off the top of your head? Uh, at least 160. I have 160 in one wallet cause they're all my favorite. And then, uh, I think like 30 to 40 in another 20 to 30 in another. Nice. Yeah. So, are, do you know like where you would be like kind of in the in the whale group? I know I know Fahadukan has what like close to three hundred, so you're probably yeah. you're probably in that range. Anyways, I don't know. I'm just curious I would say probably that. top five wallets, but they're top five. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's awesome. And you just had a somewhat recent purchase for the 150k dead pixel. Um, what was your thought process behind that? Uh, since, since they're process, not in the top 10, but I'll tell you, my thought process is I wish I understood dead pixels earlier. Yeah, that's like literally all I have to say. I, I, I think dead pixels are is going to be the best game across every chain. Mm. I don't care. Ethereum, Solana, Tezos, Doge. I don't you, care. you heard it here it's first, gonna be, folks. <laughs> I think it's going to be the best game, the best PDE for a while. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely I, bullish on the founder. I'm like, I think, AF is, yeah, I like AF a lot. I think uh, I think that dead pixels. It's kind of like, you know, you build it and they come just like Cardano yeah. and dead pixels. There's no hype. It's all just everyone's betting on the man and uh, and they just believe now, like as much as I love yummy, yummy is hyped like it's it's fun. It's cute. It's hyped. Right. So I don't even know how well or how bad or how amazing their game is going to be. Um, same with the moccasins, but like there's just a hype attachment to these things and with dead pixels i it's rare i think this this wave from they went from like 600 or 800 floor all the way to like so, 2000 yeah. i think maybe this was the first time they even got a scratch of hype hmm. but i just i think the i think once they actually get hype it's gonna be serious yeah lots of lots of good stuff in there the first 15 minutes i mean just digging into cj his history and He's he's one of the the bigger players in the NFT space, and you know there's lots to learn from him. And like I said, definitely check out his channel. Um, before we jump into the top ten, uh, there are still fifty spots left in the Discord for the very early roll. Um, I can't, I, I don't have anything concrete to say about that right now, but that will be that will mean something in the future. So if you're not in the Discord yet. Uh, we just obviously love, basically it's just this live stream, but throughout the entire week, 
you know, we have people talking about different NFTs, what we're going to be minting, you know, the, the normal stuff. So if you're not in there yet, go ahead and join. Um, and then the other one was, I have an affiliate link for the Ledger hardware wallet. Um, CJ, I'm guessing you have a hardware wallet. Um, that would be pretty Multiple. crazy. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, that'd be pretty crazy if you didn't, but just adding that extra security is super important. I won't, I, I kind of went a little, I went pretty deep into it last week, but I'll kind of leave it at that. If you don't have a hardware wallet and you have more than a thousand dollars in crypto, it's probably a good idea to add that extra layer of security. And there so, you go. Yep. Um, um, I have a question for you. If you know, yeah. I just haven't looked into it too much. Uh, is a hot NAMI wallet safer than a hot MetaMask wallet? Do you know the answer to that? Because on MetaMask, you just need to click sign or something. And then you on NAMI, you would need to type in your password. Um, I guess so. Yeah. I actually haven't really done a lot of MetaMask transactions, to be okay, honest. I, 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 I linked my hardware wallet to my MetaMask. Um, but I've only, I haven't minted hardly any ETH NFTs. Um, but yeah, I, what I, what I, I've never heard someone get hacked with, with an AMI, but I've heard plenty of people get hacked with a hot MetaMask wallet. Right. So I haven't looked into why or how, or. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I don't, to be honest, like, I don't even know who's behind MetaMask. I know yeah. that, uh, Ergo made the Euroi wallet and Alessandro took this, took the open source code from Euroi to make Nami. So there's that like string of like trust, at least for me personally. Um, so there's that. Okay. So if you guys are new to this format, um, we love to take your questions. So as we're going through the live stream for me or CJ, we'll just kind of, we'll kind of take questions back and forth. Um, freedom 35ers are in here. Welcome in guys. Um, Yoki, he said, Whoa, did I miss the dead pixels combo? We, we just talked about it for a little bit. Uh, I, I think you caught most of it. Um, Aniki says smooth Yeti mountain club checking in, um, Ada army sends love. So yeah, keep, keep sending in your questions. Uh, it looks like open CNFT is still down, which is unfortunate. This is the first time in 14 weeks where I'll have to do, uh, so the, the so my backup is CNFT analytics and you can tell the user interface is a little bit different than, uh, open CNFT and to, I, I don't even see, oh, space buds are down here. So they don't even, they're not even pulling data from all the different sources that uh open cnft pulls from so we'll just kind of we'll kind of shoot the breeze the here hell? why does ada apes have almost a million ada on volume uh that i know that they were close gonna, are we going to be talking about that later yeah what they well that? they were um according to my list they were number two um pavia was number one wow look at dead pixels let's see yeah it. so dead pixels had 348 ada volume last week yeah i'm doing that right so um all right, so I guess I'll just go. I don't even know how to do this. Let's just do Ada Ape Society. Um, what What are your thoughts? Well, what's fu What's funny with doing uh, having different guests on? Like I get to hear everybody's opinion on different projects. So, are Are you a big DAO guy? Are you you know bullish on Ada Apes, or are you kind of just like, nah, I'm focused on the blue chips, space buds, dead pixels. Which one is Ada Apes? Is that the one with the paintbrushes in their mouth? Yes. Why would I be bull? What what reason do I have to be bullish on them? I'm actually at, like I don't know anything about it other than the obvious. Yeah. So so this this is. Uh, oh wait, hold on. So uh, Ada Ape Society, um, they have they, they so when I when I when they first came on the scene, I thought that this and the Chilled Kongs website looked really similar. They just took two different approaches. The Chilled Kongs was obviously the really chilled vibe. I had the picture of the room, and this is like your highbrow um smoke a cigar in this like lounge area um but yeah eight ape society i you know it's an eight project so you you have that which makes everybody go crazy um i feel like the community is really strong from what i've seen on twitter uh they did update their roadmap so they're gonna have a token i have a burning thought go ahead every community every nft community wants to claim that their community is strong um yep do I agree. Think, <laughs> yep. I do you I think totally maybe agree. it's strong because they just want the price to go up? Sure. Maybe. I don't. I don't own any. I, I'm. I'm giving you my. I know my, you don't. My, I know. <laughs> I know you don't. So I'm just. Um, yeah. I'm just pointing it out from like a bird's eye view. Like it's just so funny how every community is strong. 
Yeah. So they oh, have society the coin. Ooh. <laughs> they have uh, different classes. So craftsmen, artists, explorers, uh, merchants, and they they get different perks for um, depending on which class you are. Wait, I'm zooming in the wrong screen. Uh, depending on which class you are, you get different perks. Um, so for what I can tell, you're not very bullish on them. But that's okay. I don't know anything about it. To be fair, I'm just giving it a hard time. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> hey, but that I mean that's a good point. Like you have to be skeptical. Um, you can't just like buy into every project. I think their floor does NFT analytics even have floors? Okay, so low sale was three fifty. Oh yeah, um, 45, 45 thousand sale. Let's go see that. Can we go see that? Can we go uh, check that out? Blake? Let's see. Uh, sold assets. See, I don't. I honestly don't even know how to work this website. That's how. That's how rough this is. How do I see the forty-five thousand sale? I uh, I don't know. I just kind of put it in your lap. I know. Forty-five. Jeez, Louise. Well, I'm putting you on the spot here, huh? Why don't you do price descending? It's okay. You can put me on the spot. This is this is uh. This is just me trying to figure out this website. Yeah, um, I don't, well, it didn't look like those buttons were working. <laughs> it doesn't. But anyways, look like... if the uh, forty-five thousand ADA sale holder is present, or anyone knows him, please let us know, and we'd like to congratulate him. There was, if you are unfamiliar, there was a one hundred and fifty thousand sale. Oh yeah, uh, oh yeah, there was. Yeah, and uh, the guy did, or I don't know, guy or girl did. Um, I forget the the handle on Twitter, but supposedly that, that they own the wallet now. But the other thing is like these names have certain um, lineage or like you're part of a certain house or a family. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, the royalty family are the ones that are going for the amount. It's so it's cool. not necessarily you know like the reason that these trip me out is because first we know nothing. They're just apes, but they have our attention because they're apes. And then they mint, they see if they sell out, and then they go, huh, it looks like we made some money. Maybe we should do something about it and not dox ourselves, apparently. Maybe we should do something about it. And so I feel like now they're like, okay, maybe we should, like, I don't know. I feel like if they had plans to do all this original and cool stuff in the first place, why would they choose to go the ape route? Why not do something original? Um, and of course it, I'm asking that question in a very, like, I'm not, I'm not really giving way, um, for someone to actually answer that. But I think majority of the time, the way I ask that is going to like, is going to exfoliate the, uh, like the blemish, like why, like, I, 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 that's why I don't believe in it. If you wanted to do something original from the first place, I, I would sure think and expect you to do some different kind of art or style or something different. Yeah. Well, and I am, I am not the expert, obviously. Uh, so if a to Apes, if you're watching I. this, if I'm you're not, watching I this, no one's an expert right now. No one yeah. Is. Well, I'm saying, I'm saying if, if the founders are in here, I know they've, they've followed or like, like some of my stuff, retweet some of my stuff. So they at least know I exist. If you're watching this, reach out to CJ, you know, maybe you could fill him in on, on the info. Um, so that's, that's what I'll say. I'll kind of just punt to the founders if they want to, cause, cause I, I really don't know a lot either They're They've got, they, after the mint, they announced the Dow. So they're doing the whole Dow thing, which is the mm -hmm. buzzword of the times. So whether yeah. that's going to be successful or not, I don't know. I'm not in their discord and, uh, but it seems like people are really interested yeah. in it. So yeah, that's, you know, and I would also like to talk about something that just came to my head. Like, you know, whenever people aren't in projects, it's a lot people tend to just talk shit about them, which is like, honestly, kind of, kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm not salty that I'm not in it. Cause I just, I don't care, but it just, I don't know why it just tends to happen. I think maybe it comes from like wanting to protect other people, mm. um, you know, cause right now there's no, if there was real volume in Cardano NFTs, space buds and clay would be at the top weekly, but it's not people are playing hot potato mm. with, with bullshit NFTs and eventually what happens is someone gets left with the bag at the end because not everything will have longevity even and who knows Ada apes uh, could have longevity 
but if it's not Ada Apes, like what what else is in the top five? Like Snowman something? Uh, Smooth Yeti, Boss Cat. Yeah, I mean you just don't Disco. know, right? Yeah, Lazy you don't know. Llamas. Like I don't know anything about that, but um, I can guarantee you that everything there's going to be a few of these that will be dead eventually yep. in the top ten. Like, and I'm not saying which ones, like, and because I don't know, obviously, but. What happens when the markets cool down is people start playing hot potato and some people um, benefit from it and most people don't. Yeah. So just be careful. Definitely. And and that I guess that kind of speaks. I was going to if uh, if uh, open CNFT will, mm -hmm. will load again, they, they have a little ticker at the top that says the uh, the 24 hour volume. But we've seen a downtrend in the volume. I don't think anybody is surprised by that. So, you know. Usually when I do these top tens, the number one project has like a million to two million to two and a half million in volume for the week. So, yeah. you know, we're, we're I mean, seeing a crazy yeah. decrease because everybody's when afraid. You see, I see right now there's, I can only view 12 because my head is cutting off the rest. No, that's fine. But Ape three, Nation, out, of the, rug, so. <laughs> three <laughs> out of the 12 are monkey related. I mean, isn't that just a red flag? Like why monkeys? Yeah, it is. So, to me. Yeah, uh, uh, drop that topic. Uh, no, it's it's fine. Um, Ashraf says, any thoughts on Greyhound? Um, they're a new project that's minting this week. I won't be minting it. Um, I'm not minting anything unless they're already established at this point. Um, I'm I'm normally always like that, anyways. But now with the way the market's going, I'm definitely like that right now. So, if you if you're not established, I'm probably not going to mint you. Um, Yoki says it was probably a Medici. So that's like Medici is the number one family of the Ada Apes Society. Um, Snorlax says, what do you guys know about Yetis? CJ doesn't know anything about Yetis. I've I've seen them around. I've seen them on Twitter. I joined their Discord. They seem very friendly. They're, I might do an interview with them uh, in the future. So be on the lookout for that. We'll see how that goes. Um, next is Pavia. Are, are you a metaverse guy? Uh, I think that there's no way around it. But like the answer is <laughs> like the answer is no. Like I don't really know. I'm not I'm not involved yet. Okay. What what's uh just for conversation? Because you okay. know, this 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 CNFT tools is almost impossible to navigate. So I'm just gonna get into more just talking through stuff. So really? you can look at the top ten here on this list and I can't go any deeper. So um <laughs> what's holding you back from the metaverse? Uh nothing. I guess just someone to tell me why. I need to get into it. I don't know. The, I'm not. I'm not opposed to it. I'm just not heavily involved. I don't have any Pavia. Yeah. I uh, used to have. I used to have a lot of Sand Token and Render Token, but uh, I traded it for Invisible Friends. So you cashed out of Sand and and got Invisible Render. Friends. Yeah, and I have. I still believe in those projects, but I just I I wanted and needed Invisible Friends. Yeah, I, I think the the thought is, um, and, and I think, so I, this is an interesting connection because I think what people are doing with some of these top tens because they missed out on clays or pixels or space buds, <laughs> they're saying that, well, I missed those, but this project that just minted is now going to compete with some of these higher ones. So people look to Decentraland, they look to Sandbox and they say, well, Pavia or Cardania or Card Cardano Village or cornucopias name your cnft project they're going to be the blank of cardano that's the narrative that they're saying so yeah. um yeah it seems like pavia has been doing fantastic ever since inception there's just something about it that has told me like you don't need any of this but could be wrong yeah um and i mean they've only they've doxed only one team member from pavia cornucopias is fully doxed um and i mean i i'm i'm equally as hesitant to as you are on Pavia, I only own one and I just bought it like a week ago because mm -hmm. I didn't have any metaverse play. And I was like, I need to just get a little bit of exposure. Um, so I, I, I got one cause I was like, I got to at least be in here. Yeah, so I understand, you know, it's, it's hard I to know what happened with pixels for me. I was done investing, but I was, I, I just couldn't resist. And so I bought, I bought one alien and then weeks later, uh, shit got real and I bought that other alien and then I was like, fuck it, I need a full house. And so I bought a vampire, a reptile. Jeez. How does it feel to just, I just, I just gotta know, like, how does it feel to 
just buy whatever you want. What's that feeling like? Uh, <laughs> it's got to feel good. You're just like, hey, I want this. I'm going to get it. It's all relative. I guess that's true. Uh, I mean, there's, yeah. You're, but you're, no, no, no. I bet I, I'm not discounting your question at all, but it, it's all relative. Um, how does it feel to buy whatever I want? Um, <laughs> I don't know, uh, really liberating. I mean, when I was a kid, like my dad wouldn't let me get gum in like the hallway line and the, in the grocery line. Yeah. You know? So like for someone to tell me that, and then now to be here where I am is liberating. It feels liberating. Yeah. That's gotta feel good. Mm-hmm. It's gotta feel good. Anyways. I, I mean, I don't want to get like super whatever, no, no, no. but you, uh, I, I didn't even get to mention. I just, I guess I'm just talking about your wallet the entire time. Well, also, cause you mentioned it on your YouTube channel, you have three berries. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. three berries and the gold the golden berry the golden berry i mean i guess it, it doesn't necessarily have any specific value right. just the fact that it's gold i mean it's, it's, it's kind of the, i mean yeah how do you get around that it's the gold <laughs> berry i mean everything rare is gold yeah something I'm wrong yeah anyways it's it's so funny um jack fricks good vibes welcome in jack good to see you um yeah good vibes let the vibes come in um what are your guys' top five CNFT picks? So what would be, if you had to pick your top five uh, in that, in specific order, what would you, what would you say? This is going to offend a lot of people. <laughs> I would I'll, say, I'll put you on the spot first. And then <laughs> I would say for me right now, if like, oh, that's really hard. I don't know. Top three, don't take any offense, but I would say right now, dead pixels, space buds, Clay Nation, and then two more. Oh, I don't know. Those are really the only ones that I pay what, attention to. What are your, I would say, uh, equine? Are you a big equine guy? I don't know anything about it, but I, oh. I mean, but Fahad Dukin is a, is a gangster. He's an OG. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say t- maybe, maybe yummy after that for me. Okay. Um, Yummy minted in October. You were already in CNFTs. Did you mint a lot of them? Did you just go? Uh, I, bought, on I bought ones I liked on the aftermarket. Yeah. yeah. And then I guess lastly, I might I might say Ugly Bros. You know, a lot of a lot of people don't really realize how hard he works and how dedicated mm. Surge is. And I think uh, a lot of people overlook it. And also, I think it's it's rightfully so that a lot of people overlook it because their season one was only a thousand NFTs. Yeah, wasn't able to give much exposure at that point, but yeah, I own eleven percent of season one because I heavily believe in him, and a lot of the stuff that he's doing sounds really interesting and experimental and fun and creative, and I like that. I so uh, I had Crypto Heaps on the channel last week, and Sergio and Crypto Heaps seem to be kind of good friends, mm-hmm. and so he joined in the, uh, the live stream, and then I was on a Twitter space with Sergio. Oh, that's awesome. I love and Sergio. So I just got to meet him, and I'm like, this dude's awesome. So no, he's, he's amazing. He's, yeah, he really solid is. dude. So I'm gonna I'm excited for season two. Yeah. I don't have any season one, but I I, I, would, I would say his project. one downfall is that he probably takes on too much responsibility. Hmm. Well, I know he's he's mentioned on the Twitter spaces that he feels that responsibility for how the mint went the first time, and he's like trying well, to make he it just, back. Yeah, he feels responsible for everything. Yeah. yeah, he has like a. I think he has a full personal life. He has a full business going on. He uh, and then he has this this uh, ugly bros, which he's always. I mean, dude. I don't think I've ever waited more than five minutes for a response from Surge. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it was uh, like midnight or thereafter. Yeah. Well, you're his guy. I mean, you have 11% of his of his collection. So <laughs> you're like... A lot of the... people, fair enough, but a lot of people share the same experience. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. It's, I mean, it seems like he's invested. I'm not I'm not saying that. Mm-hmm. I'm saying, yeah, that's, that's really cool. Um, my top five would be similar. Uh, Space Buds. Claymates, dead pixels. I would put equine and yummy. So we're we're both pretty similar on those. Totally. Um, and I think those will be the ones that will be sticking around for a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, the other ones are ways to make a quick flip. Um, and it's time will tell if those will be successful. Um, yeah, you know, but- a really good um, a really good way to gauge kind of how many uh cardano nfts will stay relevant is just to look at ethereum like how many relevant ethereum nfts like blue chip diamond chip like 
top tier, semi relevant, like you, because they're, I mean, it's the same market as, uh, as Cardano, just like a million times more. Yes. Not literally a million, but like, I don't know, probably a thousand times more volume, 100, 500 times more volume, something like that. So that's a good way to gauge of what Cardano NFTs will look like. Um, it's not a sure thing just because there's so many variables in that way. But yeah, I think so. I think I think a lot of projects will have room. Yeah. To be relevant. For sure. I would agree with that. Um, Seth says, what do you think about Veggie Mates? Are you familiar with Veggie Mates? I'm familiar with Veggie Mates. Yeah. Do you have a lot you have a lot of Veggie Mates? No, I don't have any Veggie Mates. Oh, okay. It's, it sounded oh, like you were like leading on, like, yeah, I've heard of Veggie Mates. <laughs> I I honest, I just never really got around to it and I, I wasn't a big fan of um the art um i could see that vegetables. yeah but founder is so he's also on in the band is he he's also in good charlotte uh oh i don't know i oh, but okay. i know that uh i really like the the either moderator owner or creator i'm not sure exactly what it is but his his name on twitter is like d stibs or something okay. i really like him. he's a good dude yeah. Nice. Um, another one in the top 10. Uh, I, I always just kind of um, gloss yeah. over the, the boss cat people because they've mm -hmm. got boss planet. They've got boss cat. I've, I've said my piece on them. Um, looks like disco disco's at number six. What did you, what did you think about disco? I'm sure you've heard of them. Um, and your, your overall impressions or your, you, I, I feel like you and me are similar in the fact that we're more just like, we're fine with being in, in the top tier and we're, we're just going to accumulate those. And yeah, well, that's what I did with Cardano. Right. I mean, in, in those four years that I put money into Cardano, uh, there were plenty of other new cryptos that were the hype of the week, hype of the day. It's all a casino is what I, how I try and describe it to people. Hmm. It's like and the shell game. It's like yeah, shuffling back and forth. Sure. Yeah. Interesting. Um, but Disco Solaris, I've only heard good things. I don't know much about it, but I've only heard good things. Yeah. Uh, Tal, Tal Crypto says, talk yummies. What makes you, what makes you bullish on yummies? Uh, that's a strong community. That's what we call a strong community. People were making like toast about yummy. Like they would literally like burn their toast to say yummy. <laughs> <laughs> People were putting yummy stickers on their cars like that. Yes, that's hype. And that's what I was saying in the first place is that there is hype attached to yummy, but people love their yummies. So one that attracted me. Uh, two, I like the I like the way they present themselves on Twitter. Yep. They don't respond to people too often, but they do respond here and there. They're fun. They're light. They're easy to talk to. Good point. Uh, I actually, and I haven't even felt the need to reach out or get in touch with them, but um, maybe I will sometime soon. Just, to, but I haven't even connected with them. I've just had enough faith to. I mean, I haven't gone crazy on yummies like I have with Clay or Space Buds, but I do. I have like sixty Narus, the original yep. ones, and nice. I have. I think I have like twenty percent of all the wings, like the the angel and devil wings. Yeah, for sure. That's so, awesome. I made some plays with Yummy. Yeah. I love Yummy. And I don't even and they, they actually said from the start they want to be they literally said we want to be the next Pokemon or something along those lines. Yep. And yep. they weren't they did, didn't shy, they didn't they didn't hide it, you know? Like I don't there's been so many ape projects on Cardano, but none of them have said, you know what, we're gonna strive to be just like board apes. And like, if you say that out front, it's cool. Like, okay, fine. I mean, obviously you can't do the same exact thing. So yeah, it, look, it says a new Pokemon on the road. Yep, yeah, right there. That, so they don't, I mean, I think it's okay to literally say that, but I don't know. But at least look how upfront they are about it. I yep. love Pokemon and the entire freaking world loves Pokemon. I'm game. Yeah, let's do it. But, like, <laughs> yeah. I, and I, 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 I love the unique factor. I think yeah, that's what that's what helps so stuff stand original. out. Like, what the hell are these? That's what I, <laughs> like, so original. Look at that. He's got a yeah. machete. Or whatever. I mean, he's gonna fucking. He's gonna <laughs> cut your salmon and your fillet in half, and like your onions and all your vegetables. Yeah, he's he's gonna go crazy. So, and I I love how clean the website is. 
just th- their design is very pleasing. It's a pleasing aesthetic. Very. And yeah, for sure. And I, I like their rarities. I'm not a big one of one guy, but that's just personal preference. But I like their rarities. I like how you can tell that, oh, that's a naked one. Oh, that's a that's a this one. Whatever, yep. blah, blah, blah. And I, I love the facial expressions. Oh, my God. They really tell the entire story. Yeah, for sure. I, I would agree. I would agree with that. Um, Yoki B says, will you guys be playing the Pixel Wars Alpha? Is that like, does that mean like, is Alpha <laughs> before beta? Is that what, what, when, what, whenever, what, basically, will you be playing it right when the game comes out? And I'm going to go ahead and just say for you, yeah, duh. And honestly, I don't even know. Is that the name of Dead? Is that the Dead Pixels game? Um, I think in his in AF's two videos on YouTube, I think he says like Pixel Forge Alpha or, or so, something like he. That's the way like he's titled the the YouTube video. So I'm guessing he's going off of that. Um, I don't. I'm not. I don't really care to play it off the bat, but um, I'll definitely be checking it out and understanding and enjoying all the hard work that he's put in. I don't think I'll be an addict. But I'll definitely contribute and have some fun. Yeah. Um, are you are you a gamer yourself? Are oh, yeah. are you okay? Oh, yeah. All right. So I didn't I didn't know if that was just like, hey, I'm I'm in for the passive income, and they look sweet, and you know the interactive, you know the way that the, it gamer. interacts. I mean, like I guess in my head, I'm really under I'm underrating how fun maybe some of these PDEs can think. Like I just think my, to myself like. You know, I play Apex, Call of Duty, Halo. Like, I grew up with those games. It's oh, yeah. like, that's my style. So how are you going to beat that? That's kind of mm-hmm. what goes on in my head. But I understand that that's a little closed-minded, so I'm willing to to try on this new P2E way of life. I mean, you could literally grind for your life with these. Yeah, for sure. And it's going to it's gonna take... I'm not, I'm not saying that none of the projects will get there, but if you, if you can imagine the size of the teams of those types of games, like active like the, the mm-hmm. big, some of the biggest brands in the world are, are making these and right. people still complain about them constantly. Right. <laughs> so like, it's, it's hard to, um, right. it's going to take a long time. And I to think if there. anyone has a shot at getting there, it's fucking dead pixels. Yeah. Which is crazy. It is it's a one man show currently, but you know, yeah. he, he, I, I mean, he, sure, he has game experience, game dev experience. I'm sure he collaborates with certain people here and there to help. Yeah, but, yeah, I'm sure. But it is yes, too. it is kind of technically a one man show. Yeah. So, yeah, he's he makes me very bullish on uh, on pixels. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have any. But if that I have, sounds, uh, what that sounds like a, um, I don't know. It just sounded like sexual. <laughs> He makes me very bullish. <laughs> well, that was not my intention, but yeah, okay, I can see how. It was that. mine. <laughs> oh my word! All right, so let's. You know, I think that list is basically that basically sums it up for for most of what we were going to talk about. So, on coming up, are you big on block owls? Have you heard of block owls? Thoughts. So when the, the, the when the Cardano chain was really congested, I tried buying like twenty just because I I just really liked them. I just liked them. Yes. Um, this looks different though. Is this the the like the OG Block Owls? Well, they're they're doing in, in season two. Got it. Great. That uh, so well. they've got another um, animation video. Um, I so, feel like so, yeah, I have tried to buy a bunch when they were congested. I ended up getting like one, maybe two. Uh, okay. But so I just never gave a shit and went back. But yeah, I have a Hodley. If anyone knows what that looks like, I think it's one of the coolest ones. But damn, that um, looks really cool. This whole thing, dude. These guys are incredible at animation, man. That uh, I, who's the Benjamins group guy? Zygor, Zigor. I feel no, like they're they're on pay. Like they're like had they could go head to head to head. Yeah, I really I really like I, I like them from their art. Talk about original. Well. And what's what's really unfortunate, and I'll watch, just watch, watch this Yo, video go. It's so it's awesome. <laughs> Hold on, let's just. Uh, I don't want it to be super loud, but the audio too is probably amazing. But so they're um, making a game. I think oh, yeah. I think it's just part of the anime. I don't think it's a game. It could be uh, though. I, I just joined their Discord because I was like, oh, I need a block owl, but like the season ones were like three hundred floor or two hundred floor, and I was like, ah, I'm not going to, but. Now they're gonna do a season two, so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick some up. 
Yeah, that's um, such a bummer, man. I guess I guess my gut was right because I literally one night I hadn't bought any NFTs for weeks, and I just sat at my computer. I was like, you know, what? these are kind of like cheap. I'm just gonna buy a bunch that I like. And literally, I think only one went through, and I tried to buy it probably around twenty. Oh my word! Yeah. So I don't have the link, but there was a guy that was on Twitter, and he. I, I had said that I was like interested in Blockhouse. He was one of my earlier earliest um, followers, but I guess he rugged himself because I, I can't find his profile anywhere. Um, but he sent me a link of this guy's resume, and this dude has worked with the biggest brands in the world, like Louis Vuitton, Nike. Like he's he's world class um, animation. I do have a video from October that I did, and basically in that video, the only thing I said was I didn't really know anything about the guy. He just said his name was Kent, and he was undoxed. So I said I wouldn't I wouldn't buy them, but as you know, it's been five months since I made that, or four or five months since I made that video. Um, well, uh, anyways, whatever. Uh, I'm I'm going to be minting these, um, and the mint the public mint is tomorrow, or two days from now, so the twelfth. Um, if you already oh. have one, you can get the whitelist on the eleventh. So it's just one for one, I assume. I I would guess, yeah. Um, and I have the Discord open. I have this Discord link. If it loads. So the whitelist mint is tomorrow. 649 are available, uh, open for 36 hours. And then the public mint, there's 1594 available, plus any unclaimed NFTs from the whitelist. And the price will be 106. 106 uh, ADA? Yep, for one. So that's the newest info from their Discord as of 1240 today. All right, CEO then. Yeah, so I, if I could pick up two, I would be very happy. But only, I mean, fifteen hundred is not that much um, for an established project. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens. But I'm I'm pretty bullish on Blockhouse, even though I don't have one yet. Totally, I love that. Yeah, love their stuff. Animation stuff is sweet. Uh, the other one I wanted to shout out was just because. Uh, okay, let's let's see who else is on here. Um, Seth says Cornucopias is the highest fidelity Cardano game that will be on the block. High fidelity games on the block are very hard to make right now. I'm a AAA designer. I mean, Cornucopias has a great shot too. I mean, they've got a lot of stuff on. Um, what a, what do they mean uh, when they use fidelity? Yeah, Seth, if you want to add some extra info on high fidelity, but just what, what they're building on Unreal Engine 4. And um, I... I'm curious to see why they did two vehicle drops like within the same month, but I'm sure they have a plan for that. But that that felt kind of weird to do a twelve a twelve thousand mint of one vehicle and then like within four days announce another vehicle. And who knows how you know how big that mint will be? Actually, um, I have a link to their Twitter. Um, so the javelins will be released on the twenty second at eleven a.m. Central Time. Um, the, this is the GTI Javelin 2022 and they're doing those names cause they're going to make those, they're going to make these every year. Oh, sorry. I'm not even sharing my screen. I'm sorry. Um, so this is the mint info right there. Uh, but I don't see a price or a quantity, but it's going to probably going to be in their discord first. But if you haven't seen that about their Javelin, so it looks sweet, but it's a, there's been, there's been lots of controversy about, you know, the if they should have done another, another drop. Yeah. When they first uh, when they first released like some of their previews and stuff, I thought it was really cool. Yeah, uh, Seth says high fidelity, meaning the quality of design. Quality of the design. Yeah, um, it looks pretty badass. Looks like a looks like a Star Wars Rebels the TV show. Yeah. Oh yeah, one of those speeders, and yeah, they have these like Whoa. racing games. No yeah. way. Yeah, that's pretty sweet, right? Six hundred miles an hour. Wow. He's That's flying. Um, let's that see. Looks uh, <laughs> that doesn't really look sweet? Fun. It's like a, maybe they'll do like a little Mario Kart mini game in the metaverse yeah. or something. I would like to see more. It looks a little refined almost to where it looks like a simulation. Yeah. Like it looks like it's really easy, if that makes sense. But Yeah, I don't know. Obviously, this is just a, this isn't the full game. Get people hype. This is um, gnarly, dude. He's going very yeah. fast. Yeah, he's he's flying. He's he's a pro at this thing. Um, NZ Rain says the whitelist started two hours ago for Block Owl, so they're starting to mint already. Oh, um, cool. And then uh, no cap 
Melodius. I probably didn't say that right. Meli Meliodas. Uh, how about them Yetis? Mint was twenty five beta. I I talked to them. I talked about them a little bit earlier. They're um, they seem like they have once again everybody everybody who has a higher floor has a strong community because they're all vested. They have all they all have a vested interest to make their project more valuable. But I, I might I might be doing an interview with their team at some point down the road. They seem like they're doing well so far. They only minted like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. They seem very engaged and talking with their community. So we'll see see how they do. Um, and then crypto heaps was on the channel last week. He was on the live stream last week. Uh, Ada army will, uh, have their mint and they actually haven't released this yet. He just said this to me today. So I've got some inside information for you guys. So March 28th will be the mint day. They have an open policy ID. So if you have already minted an Ada army, this will be added to the season one collection, which will cap them at 5,000. So and from what, from what I understand, the 5,000 will be the full policy ID. They'll lock the policy after the mint. March 28th, uh, there'll be 2,500 available, 48 ADA for current holders, and 55 ADA to the public. Uh, they are, and I, I'm probably going to butcher his announcement, but you can watch my previous video if you missed the announcement. Um, they're going to be launching a minting engine that's open source, a minting service, and uh, for other projects to use. But how that works with Ada Army, there'll be a partnership where um, part of the royalties from the minting engine will be used to give out royalties to Ada Army holders. And if you mint an Ada Army, 50% of the royalties will go to you forever, even if you sell right away, um, from what I understand. So that's pretty cool. I don't think that anybody's ever done that before. That's an early. Um, so it rewards people who mint pretty hard. Yeah, I really like the creator, Tony. He's a really good guy. Yeah. Or heaps. Yeah. Heaps Sorry is awesome. If just, Sorry if I just <laughs> doxed him. <laughs> First name's not really a dox, but um okay. Uh let's see. Could be Tony, it could be Anthony, could be T O N I, could be T O N Y. Uh I like it. All right. And then I think I think the last thing for the night, um, you were talking to me before the stream about uh, a little project that you're interested in. Um so Sure. Yeah. I'll give a shout out to the gizmos. I won't say too much. Everyone can just go look for themselves, but I'm just super excited to mint it because it's really nostalgic for me. Uh, it's just little gizmos and Game Boys. And uh, they're, uh, it's a collection of 3,333. So far, they have 333 batteries out that you will be able to equip to your gizmo. And uh, 100 Halos out so far that you will be able to equip. See, so it's like kind of describing it here. I haven't even seen this. But yeah, yeah, they're dope. I was just telling Blake about it on the right before the stream. Yeah, and so the, I, and I, I hadn't heard of them yet. I mean, they already have, you know, 32, 3,300 followers. Um, they seem like they're, I, I, you know, I like the old, the old school kind of Game Boy look. Different colors, different, you know, joysticks and stuff. So yeah, that's it. Oh, you can have a you can heart. Which one's my favorite? I, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of blue, so I'll do the I'll do the blue the blue pink combo. I, like um, I I don't have it in the description, but I just uh, put it in the chat. So if you want to check them out, I think. Oh, it looks like they went like together at the same time. So I messed that up for you guys. I'm sorry. I'll just post the uh, the Twitter. Um, oh, I know. Seriously. So yeah, take that as you will. Obviously. CJ was saying, I don't know if they're going to be successful. He just wants to collect them. So he's not even looking like I'm going to make a huge profit out of this. He's just saying they look cool for him. So don't expect like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I really don't gonna... know how they'll do. Yeah. But yeah. I, I so, like them. so it looks like classic 420. You got a mint on 420. So oh, yeah. that's what, uh, that's what they're going to be. It seems like they made a really cool video here. Oh, I saw the duck. In here, Blake? What? Can we smoke in this, in your studio? Sure. Go ahead. All right, cool. Um, yeah, so Gizmo Halos, uh, when sushi got a little sushi in the middle. Is that like a little homage to sushi bites or something, or are they just going their own sushi thing? I have no clue. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, new new project that you might be interested in. Oh, they're all handmade too. Ooh, says right there, yeah. unique, handcrafted, handcrafted, designed by Calmlock and your boy, your boy Gims. Totally. Anyways. Any any final comments in the chat? Anything else we should cover? I think we've covered a decent amount. We spread, uh, got close to an hour here. 
Um, yeah, it's been great to have CJ on. If you haven't uh, yet, well, like this video because uh, that gets it out to more people. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, it's crazy, you know, going into the analytics. I know some of you aren't subscribed, so subscribe. Uh, and then after you subscribe to me, go down in the description and hit CJ on a, I think I, I, can, I can like mention you because you have a channel. So um, go and subscribe to him and follow him on Twitter. We're just out here. You got to support one another, support the, support the NFT gang. Um, Absolutely. We're all a big family. That's right. Uh, Joe Tacos. Have you heard CJ? How do you feel about Rhino Generation? You Fuck like, you, you like Joe Tacos. Tacos. <laughs> oh, man. It must be some inside <laughs> joke or. It's a buddy of mine. Yeah, I figured. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Rhino Generation to top it off to end the night. <laughs> to end the night on Rhino Generation. Well, you could pop in their Discord and find out, you guys. <laughs> there you go. Go check them out. That's another one to add to the list. I have Coco Locos, Gingerbreads, and I have Rhinos. <laughs> the only reason I've heard of these is because somebody sent them to the Rats Dow Treasury ID. And That's I was like, hilarious. what the heck is this? What the heck is this Rhino Generation? <laughs> I love oh. the handles. The handles are sick. If anyone on here uh, ends up getting in early, uh, get me CJ Lovelace. Thanks. And don't try to sell it to me for 10 million ADA. I'd really appreciate that. <laughs> he, he won't be buying it. So anyways, guys. I will, I will be trying to buy it, but if I miss it. <laughs> well, don't tell him oh, that. Oh, you mean, oh, sorry, aftermarket. Yeah, no, I yeah. will not be buying that. Yeah, you would, just, you would just find something else the real cj lovely or something you, you would you wouldn't be paying 10 million oh my gosh all right well enjoy your guys this evening uh this has been another cnft weekly market update hopefully open cnft is ready by next week uh unfortunate timing but you got to roll with the punches we're live at eight o'clock every night so, or every thursday night so um anyways guys enjoy your night see that was a lot of fun blake thank you yeah of course it's great thanks everyone